hello guys welcome to the channel in this video i'm going to show you how you can apply for abu dhabi university scholarship if you have been searching for a scholarship that cover your application fees tuition fees accommodation and also health insurance either fully funded scholarship or partially funded scholarship this video is for you before we move further if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe to my channel and also click on bell notification icons so as to get updates anytime I release new video. This channel is dedicated for education and scholarship opportunity. You can check more opportunity on our website on zeu.net so you can get more information about fully funded scholarship across the world. Um, Abu Dhabi University is one of the most famous and prestigious university in the capital of the United States. Arab Emirates, which is of interest to many interested people around the world. Abu Dhabi University is the largest private university in the United Arab Emirates, so it's a big opportunity for any student who, want to, who is seeking opportunity to study uh, in United Arab Emirates. Now let's talk about the scholarship details. Um, the country where the University is situated is in United Arab Emirates. Host university is Abu Dhabi University. Study level, undergraduate and master. These are um, study level which this scholarship cover. Eligible country. This scholarship is for international students and even students from United Arab Emirates. So you can get the application link and order information from the description of this video so just go to the description of it, this video um, it will take you to the direct application link now uh, in Abu Dhabi University this scholarship is being categorized to like seven categories so most of these categories some are fully funded scholarship why some are partially funded scholarship so from this category of scholarship that is being run in Abu Dhabi University, we have academic scholarship, there's alumni scholarship, there is athletic scholarship, chairman scholarship, uh, Sheikh Amdam bin Sayyid scholarship, merit-based graduate scholarship, and then lastly university scholarship. Now, um, in Abu Dhabi University scholarship, let's talk about the course which is being offered in this university. Um, below are uh, the available um, courses. Now they have different colleges uh, in the university where we have College of Art and Science, College of Business, College of Engineering, College of uh, Earth Science, we have College of Law and also academic program for military college. Now um, what are the scholarship coverage? So um, as I've said, the scholarship is being categorized into like seven categories and each category is of uh, their benefit and what is being covered. So if you are applying academic scholarship under Abu Dhabi University, this scholarship only covers 20% of tuition fees, which means they can only pay 20% of the tuition fees for you. Now, um, if you apply under Abu Dhabi um, University scholarship, this one cover up to 15 to 50 tuition fees for UAE residents and GCC candidates. But if you are applying under Sheikh Amdam bin Sayyid scholarship, this category of scholarship is a fully funded scholarship, uh, which means your tuition fees, application fees, registration fees, student service fees, and also aid service fees, all of them uh, is fully funded. So this is one of the category that cover 100% of um, the scholarship expenses. Then also they have athletic uh, scholarship. This athletic scholarship, this one only cover up to 25% tuition fees. Then lastly, there is a family tuition fees waiver. Uh, this is when two or more members from the same family are enrolled at the Abu Dhabi University um, under undergraduate course. The family tuition waiver will apply a value of 15, 20 or 25% of the entire tuition fees 
Now, uh, these are the scholarship benefits for the Abu Dhabi University scholarship. What about the duration of uh, studies? Um, well, the, the, the duration of each course depends on the type of uh, program you are applying for. This is we clearly stated on your admission letter. Now, uh, the most important part is the eligibility criteria and the requirement. Now, what are the eligibility criteria and the required documents that you must have before you apply for this scholarship? Number one, uh, from the eligibility, know in your mind that this scholarship is, uh, is for international students. So, no matter the country you are applying from, country you are applying, this scholarship is available for you. Now, um, both United uh, UAE nationals and other international students are eligible. Now, uh, for if you are applying for a master degree, so you need a bachelor degree, the certi your certification in your previous bachelor degree and a minimum of CGPA of 2.5 and uh, on a 4.0 scale. So before you will be able to uh, uh, apply for a master degree, then if you are applying for the PhD, so to be eligible for a PhD, you must have a master degree with a minimum CGPA of 3.0 on a scale of 4.0. Then candidate must have at least two years of full time experience. This one is applicable for PhD only. But if you are applying for undergraduate, you have to provide the um, the uh, your diploma certificate or any equivalent certificate in your uh your country now there are also required document that you must provide before applying for this scholarship number one so uh, you have to provide a uh, non-audited cv so um also you have to provide uh official degree certificate for masters and diploma or equivalent certificate for undergraduate likewise also a master degree certificate for if you are applying for phd so uh, you have to write a personal statement, then you provide a valid transcript from your previous institution. Then you have to write a recommendation letter, then also your passport uh, photograph. Then lastly, you have to provide a certificate of English proficiency, IBT, TOEFLs, IELTS. If you are using TOE, TOEFL, you must have at least 61 points and if it is IELTS, that one will be 5.0 and lastly if it is ITP, have a copy of current passport. Now, um, the application deadline, as uh, time of uh, doing this video, the uh, deadline has not been announced but if you can check the description of this video, you are going to see more details on uh, the deadline of the uh, scholarship. Now, how do you apply for the scholarship? Now, go to the description of this video, you will see the application link. So, when you now click on the application link on the description of this video, then you are going to take to a, uh, the Abu Dhabi University College Porter website where you are going to fill out the form. So, before you fill this form, make sure you read the instruction carefully. So this is how the form is going to look like because you have to create account for the first time you are applying for this scholarship. If you already create an account, then you have to log in and continue filling and uploading the required document. Now you have to choose your username, then also you create password, confirm your password, then you provide your valid email address, then your legal names, first name first and then the last name. Now after you create this account, an email uh, message will be sent to you which comprising your code to activate your account so after doing that you come back to this page and activate your account after you have activated your account then you'll be able to log into your um a dashboard so when you log into your dashboard that's when you are going to fill the required course and uh, you upload your passport then also you upload the required documents i have made mention earlier so uh, these are the little procedure that you have to done before you, you can be successful um, candidate. So uh, after you fill this form successfully, just wait with, within the period of one month, then you get a response if you have been successful for the uh, application. So I wish you guys best of luck. Once again, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to the channel. 
and also click on bell notification icons so as to get updates anytime I release new video. Thank you.